is here and so are the blockbusters. So now it's time to grab your chance to get comfy at the cinema for some A-grade popcorn movies. I'm Renee Brack and here are some more of the terrific flicks you can see right through the holiday season. Several years ago, he was asked to manage all of your pensions. Right now, they're saying that anyone who invested with Mr. Shaw has been defrauded. Did he get your money too? Yeah, he did. She's one of the best investigators I have. But? She's different. Uh, in what way? In every way. Something wrong with the report? Anything you chose not to disclose. Who is he? I'd like to know who the guy is that my wife was seeing. You see this in the comments, did you? Coming to cinemas right across Australia is a comedy that simply must be seen on the big screen. Stiller and Murphy doing crime together. A robbery can change very quickly. You have to be ready to adapt to the situation at any moment. I got your ski hats. No, I said ski masks. But the guy said these would keep us the warmest. Yes, this is the film that sums up the US economy and the economic depression they had to have. You'll see more of the great on-screen chemistry between Ben and Eddie later in the show. But right now, let's take a look at The Descendants. It's a family drama from the director who gave us the Oscar-winning film Sideways and stars George Clooney, who's barely coping as a part-time parent. Then things just get worse. Look, whatever you two fought about, you have to drop it. Grow up. You really don't have a clue, do you? Tim, Mom was cheating on you. So who has to do the growing up? Well, all of them. Another summer blockbuster you can catch is one that's bound to be a winner at the box office because it stars Robert Downey Jr. as Sherlock Holmes. I see your next client is here to kill you. He's back in the sequel called Game of Shadows and he meets his Moriarty. Are you sure you want to play this game? But if you ask me, it looks like a movie about Sherlock tagging along on Watson's honeymoon, disguised as a woman. I agree, it's not my best disguise. And let's see what Hollywood has done with its very sudden remake of the recently released Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Sometimes he pleasures her. Not often enough, in my opinion. Those are from her. The rest from her killer. It's directed by David Fincher, who gave us Seven, Fight Club, Benjamin Button, and The Social Network. And the other plus is there's lots of snow and ice, which will appeal to us Aussies who want to see something cool during the hot holiday season. Just a bull We need to talk. Hey, hey, who do you think you are? Put some clothes on. Get rid of your girlfriend. Can I call you Elizabeth? I want you to help me catch a killer of women. Now, my top pick of this lot of blockbusters would have to be Tower Heist. It's kind of like Beverly Hills Cop meets Ocean's Eleven, but with a criminal crew that has no idea, no real experience and no money to finance an operation. So you're saying you want to rob Arthur Shaw? It's inside a building that has the most advanced security and is guarded by FBI agents 24 hours a day. We're not criminals. We don't know how to steal. Don't worry. I know someone who does. And who knew there'd be such terrific on-screen chemistry between Ben Stiller and Eddie Murphy? Why'd you bail me out, man? I don't even know your goddamn name. We used to get dropped off every morning for daycare. I do remember you. You're the little seizure boy that's having them seizures all the time. When it comes time to do this heist and, and they need somebody who's a ringer, somebody who's an actual criminal, Josh has this idea to go to slide. So we then learn was they, they grew up together on the block and actually were in daycare together as kids. You know, I've done a bunch, a lot of family movies, and I've done a lot of stuff that was, you know, the characters were not streety guys. So it was fun to go and do something like that. And then because I hadn't done it in so long, there was a, a freshness to it. It looked like, it was like, hey! It's like, <laughs> people, hey, that's funny! It's like, yeah, I used to do that years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was on a job a few days ago and my homie got shot in the face. If you get shot in the head, it's over. If you get shot in your head, it's over. If you get shot in your face, the bullet will go in your cheek, then come out the other side. Then what you gonna do? Die. I'm gonna die. But the real surprise is the villain, played by usual good guy, Alan Older, the mad doctor in MASH. You know people are working stiffs, clock punchers, easily replaced. It's always fun to, to be a villain, 
but it's even more fun to be a villain that who doesn't appear to be. You know this is a bad idea, right? That's it. I don't want you talking to me for the rest of the robbery. So if you've ever wanted to stick it to the man, then make sure you put Tower Heist at the top of your list of summer blockbusters to go see. Well, that's it from me and from Movie Juice. Till next time. And for all the best in entertainment news, check out your Movie Network channels. Find or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and mnc.tv.